Well, praise the Lord, welcome to beautiful San Diego, the Morris Cirillo Legacy International Center. We welcome you to day five of the Morris Cirillo Revelation Faith School of Ministry. We're gonna go right into the message today. Use the share button, share this podcast, share this stream with somebody you know that God is ready to take to another level of faith. If you are ready, today's message, a faith that cannot be shaken. Would you join me in welcoming, once again, God's servant, Dr. Morris Cirillo. There is a reason, and it is not an emotional reason, but it is one of those reasons that gives us the absolute confidence to know that faith never fails. I'm gonna share with you by very deep revelation to tie this knot this morning. Faith that is based on some theologians' theories can fail because theology, sad to say, so many times goes through changes. If you are a student of theology, all you have to do is look down through the past 2,000 years and you will see how with the introduction of lots of different new thoughts and individuals and environments that came into the world, theology kept going through a process of change and revolution and change and revolution. Now, faith does not fail because it is not based on, oh dear, I'm so tempted. <laughs> it's not based on the Methodist Church. <laughs> it's not based on the Assemblies of God. It's not based on the Four Square or the Open Bible or the Presbyterians. Romans 10, 17, listen to it. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now there is two words in the Greek that translate this word which is used in different places to give us the meaning of the word. One is called in the Greek, rhema or rhema, which means a word spoken by God. And the other is the legos, which means the living word. Now, I want to tell you this morning so that you can keep the devil on his side of the line and not be hung up by different teachings on faith. You cannot, it is impossible to separate the living word and the written word. Because God is his word. Amen. And the word is God. The way we have demonstrated the meaning of faith, you would think that the promises of God could only be fulfilled 
if we had the ability to bring them to pass. Now where we got that idea, I will never know. But I want to tell you something. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said it and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken it and shall he not bring it to pass? I've got news for you, my brother. There's not one promise in this book that God is depending upon you to be able to bring to pass. Not one. Because he would not leave his word vulnerable to your whims. See, because one day you might wake up in the morning and not feel so good. What's that going to do to the promises of God? If you walk by your feelings. Well, did you hear me out there? Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Faith cometh. How? By the word of God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. And that word did what? It became flesh. Faith comes. How does it come? It comes with the word. By grace are you saved. How? Through faith, but not that of yourselves. It is the gift of God. When the gift of God, which is the word, which was in the beginning, which made the beginning, which came here for a purpose, when that word comes into you, my brother, my sister, you cry, Abba, Father, you become an heir, you become a joint heir, faith comes with the word, it does not come alone. Come on, come on. And I've got news for you. Watch it. You can't separate the living word and the written word. So when the written word comes, brother, what's coming with the written word? With every promise of God. Inside the promise of God is the faith to bring it to pass. God's not depending on you. He's depending on the power of his word. said to Mary 
You're going to bear a child. You're going to call his name Jesus. He's going to save his people from their sins. Now you tell me, where did Mary get the faith to produce the Son of God? The angel said, that which shall come upon you, Mary, is the Holy Ghost. Mary didn't understand it. The Bible says her heart trembled, but she looked up at God or the angel or the messenger that was speaking. And not understanding or not comprehending or not being able to even grasp. And look, let's, 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 let's get right down to it, folks. It's hard for you and I to grasp and understand and fully comprehend the God that knows no limit. But you know how we do? Mary looked up to the angel. She said, I don't have any idea. I've never been married. I've never had sexual relationships. I've never known a man. I'm engaged. How can I ever have a baby? She looked up at the angel and she said, be it unto me, even as thou hast spoken it. And brother, with the word, the spoken word, and the living word, comes the faith of our almighty God, that sixth sense, which brings to pass what God promises. God raised up Abraham, and God called him to do a great work. He couldn't have done it without God giving him an experience. And you know one of the experiences God gave to Abraham when he called him and sent him on a journey to tra travel in a land where he didn't know where he was going, but he followed in naked obedience to God. God gave him a point. Oh, dear Father. Somebody pray for me out there, will you? Because I can't seem to get off of this thing. The Holy Spirit keeps bringing me back. I promise I'll jump off here somewhere. God gave him a point. And he's given you a point where you fix your faith. God gave Abraham a point. Listen, he said, Abraham... I am your, I am your El Shaddai. Now, that word El Shaddai is a Hebrew word. This word El is taken from the Hebrew word, which means Elohim. This word Elohim means God, or it means Strong one. This word shaddai means breast. Two strange words that God put together. Breast. But it does not mean anybody's breast. It means a woman's breast. And it is never used anywhere just to describe any woman's breast. It is only used to describe a mother's breast. God said to Abraham, I am your El Shaddai. It is from the mother's breast that a little child gets its strength. It gets its nourishment. It gets its ability to grow and to be strong. But that 
Mother cannot force the nourishment or the food or the breast on that little child. She can hold it there and try to get the little child to take it. If the little child refuses to take it, it dies. God said to Abraham, I will be, go. I'll lead you, I'll guide you, I'll direct you. I will be your El Shaddai. I will be your strong life giver. I will be your strong nourisher. But Abraham, you've got to draw your life out of me. You've got to suck it out of me. Jehovah God, get it out of me. As long as you keep sucking your life out of me, Abraham, you'll be drawing on heavenly manna, supernatural power. It'll give you the ability to march. It'll give you the ability to conquer the enemies that you meet. It'll lead you in the ways that you should go. Nothing will ever go wrong as long as you get your life from me. You say, Brother Shiloh, God's given me a point. Yes, he has. Let me tell you something. Did you know that there can be no faith without? Without infallibility? Try it. You can't have faith without infallibility. You know what that word infallible means? It means no margin for error. Amen. You can't have faith, brother, unless you have infallibility. You can push some buttons and send some rockets to the moon, but I've got news for you. They only sit back and hope that they're going to stay on the path and that there's going to be enough force to make it go because they don't know. Because they're human. And there's margin for error in everything. Automobiles, airplanes, rockets, computers, medical signs, you name it. There's always a margin for error. Oh, I don't know whether you're getting this or not. Come on, are you getting it out there? Come on, are you getting it? Come on, are you getting it? Are you getting it? But brother, I've got news for you. When God gives you his faith and it's inside you, it's infallible. It never fails. There's no margin for error. And you also cannot have faith without impregnability. You know what the word impregnable means? It means that which cannot be taken by force. Whew.
what's our point, Brother Swill? What's infallible and what's impregnable that gives our faith the ability to be fixed? I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> Come on, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Could this be what Jesus meant when he said, Abide in me and my words abide in you? And you ask what ye will. unless God gives you an experience. Well, somebody that's having their faith experience on this Facebook, YouTube, podcast, Morris Cirillo, School of Ministry, just go ahead like Brother Cirillo said and shout hallelujah, honey, yeah. Fernando. I'm so glad that you guys are standing here with me today. What a beautiful day it is on the Morris Cirillo Legacy International Center campus. You talk about faith, and you talk about the results of faith. We're standing in the middle of an incredible miracle because Morris Cirillo, honey, shared with us today the bottom line secret to a faith yes. that cannot be shaken. Yes, amen. A faith that never fails, yes. and we can have absolute confidence and Dr. Cirillo says there's a reason we can have that absolute confidence. Do you want to know what it is? Well, you heard it from Dr. Cirillo today. Right. It's not an emotional reason. It is an absolute confidence that faith never fails because we are fixing our faith on the Word of God. So it's a point of faith. And I love how he says that the Word of God is infallible. Infallible, no margin of error. And I remember, honey, when back in the days when I used to work in the uh, electronics industry, the computer industry, and we worked on very precise uh, dimensions and technologies, very advanced technologies. And no matter uh, how uh, definite a uh, dimension was, there was always a margin of error. Sure. It could have been just a fraction of a, of a the size of a hair, plus or minus, but there was always a margin for error. And the Word of God, there is no margin for error. It never fails. And so we can fix our faith upon so, the you know, Word of God. We have to just always remember, Fernando and Honey, and everybody that's watching, the reason that the Word of God is infallible is because God is His Word. Yes. And His Word is God. And so we are fixing our faith on the integrity of God Himself. I love that scripture. Brother Cirillo's maybe favorite scripture was that God is not a man that He should lie or the Son of Man that He should repent. Has He not said it shall not do it. Amen. Well, well that's, that's something to it's rejoice infallible. about. Amen. Amen. And there's there's an inerrant power that comes from the Word of God. There, I love how Dr. Cirillo explains it, that the Word of God contains the power to bring it to pass. Again, that's it's okay. not depending upon us. We can't, we cannot produce the promises of God, but the Word of God is there for us, and it is infallible and impossible. Uh, yes. Pregnable. Amen. Wow. 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 It's just, I'm just happy to be next to both of you. Oh. I mean, the, their faith is jumping on me, and, you know, and, and God gives us an experience. He gives us an ability, an experience that it, you know that 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 you know, and it can, you cannot be shaken no matter what we go through. And, and that's what I learned at the School of Ministry. There was a faith that jumped on me. Not only was, was Dr. Cervello preaching and teaching, there was an impartation that jumped on me. It gave me an experience. And so whenever I'm going through a trial or a situation, I know that that experience keeps me firm in the Lord. You know, Fernando, I want you to pray in just a minute because 
because there's a real anointing on your life for miracles, for healing. There's somebody that's watching today. You know, we're not gonna wait until day seven when we're gonna have an incredible anointing and impartation service. But I just feel right now that there's somebody that was so stirred by the Word of God today, and you're saying, I have the faith right now to apply the Word of God for my circumstance and my situation. So I want you to go ahead, just stretch your hands toward the screen or towards your telephone, or if you're listening on the podcast, just go ahead and lift your hand in the presence of God. Apostle Fernando, I just believe there's a word of faith that's coming from your mouth right now that is going to mix with the faith of our viewers, of our listeners today, and I believe there's a miracle right now that's ready to be born in the mighty name of Jesus. My goodness, I feel it all over us. I feel it right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Like Peter and John were walking to the gate, beautiful. They said to the man, the lame man, get up and walk. And God is saying to you through the power of the blood of Jesus, be healed of every infirmity, be healed of every disease. We rebuke and we bind every demon of hell. We cast you away from bodies back pains are healed, arthritis is healed, our right knees, our right knee is being healed, our left knee is being healed, the glory of God is upon you, the miracle working power of God is upon you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is upon you, the devil and his power is destroyed of your life, and the miracle hearing healing power. We release it over you right now. We release it over your family. We release it over that young young child that cannot walk. That, that three-year-old baby girl, whoever this is, your child will walk in the mighty name of Jesus. She will walk this year. Oh, Father, I give you praise. I give you praise. Your glory, your glory is released right now by faith. We come in agreement. We release the miracle healing power by faith, by the faith of God over everyone that needs a, a healing we release it over you in the only name that is worthy that is Jesus Christ the Messiah the Christ the healer the anointed one we release it we believe it and we know that we know that we know you you should be feeling the power upon your mind somebody is feeling the power of God in their mind right now your legs are starting to shake right now I'm telling you you will walk you will walk hallelujah somebody's being healed from a uh, dental problems dental dental problems oh my goodness father I give you praise you better write back your testimony we are right back your gums your gums your upper gums are being healed right now father I give you praise we give you glory we give you honor yes Lord we thank you Lord God for you oh God healing your people oh God in Jesus mighty name come on everybody say amen and give the Lord a good hand clap of praise listen use the comment section let us know how this school of ministry is blessing you how it's encouraging you how it's building your faith what God even did during this time of prayer together and honey there's a phone number on the screen it's the in-home prayer ministry 1-800 514-1864. So many of our in-home prayer ministers are watching, they're connecting today. We love them so much. But miracles happen when someone cares. Yes. And we care what happens to you. Honey, say and they, word. And they care what happens to you, and that's why they give sacrificially of their time for when you call in, they're there equipped, prayed up, and ready to agree with you in prayer for, for your needs. And so often the in-home prayer ministers just will send an email or phone call and say, thank you so much for God using my life to be a part of the in-home prayer ministry to pray for the needs of God's people. It's truly a blessing for them and, and we're thankful for them and for you. You know, Fernando and honey, one of the final things I wanna say that Brother Shrilla would say so many times about faith, and this is important when it comes to calling the in-home prayer ministry. Brother Shrilla would always say, faith is a fact, but faith is also an, an act. Yes, hallelujah. Peter acted like Fernando was talking about the other day, and he stepped out of the boat. And I want you to step out of whatever boat you're in, whatever storm you're in, God is getting ready to take you out of a storm and bring you into a great place of calm, into a great place of peace, into a great place of clarity of mind, of power, love, fear is being broken off of your life. But sometimes it takes 
somebody else standing with you, agreeing with you, adding their faith to your faith. So I want to encourage you, those of you that are watching, listening, you have access to a telephone. You can call 1-800-514-1864. I want to encourage you to do that. I want to encourage you to write that number down, keep it in your Bible, keep it on your refrigerator, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Somebody is ready, anointed by God. Like Jerry said, these are volunteers. These are people who are giving of their time just for the privilege of seeing God work in your circumstance in your life. So use that number, 1-800-514-1864. Well, I can't wait. We are coming in almost for a landing. Tomorrow will be incredible day six of the incredible Revelation Faith School of Ministry. Stay connected, then day seven will be the closing impartation and anointing service. I just have a feeling that God is going to seal this word that God is going to raise the level of your faith. We're gonna come out of this school of ministry different than when we came. Our faith is being supercharged because we're understanding that faith is not a natural life force, but faith is a supernatural life force. So on behalf of Fernando, on behalf of Jerry, all of our team here at Legacy, our wonderful television department that makes these broadcasts possible every day. Our amazing chairwoman, the first lady of world evangelism, our president, David Cirillo. This is Greg Morrow saying, miracles happen when someone cares, and we care what happens to you. Can't wait to see you next time, live from Legacy as we continue to go from faith to faith, from strength to strength, from glory to glory, in the Morris Cirillo Revelation Faith School of Ministry. See you next time, in Jesus' name.